Hello, my name is Karen Hughes. In this module, we're going to discuss how to create a drill down on process level data in the Gateway server as part of the BMC TrueSight Capacity Optimization How To video series. To drill down and investigate, there's a wizard that helps step you through the ability to do a drill down, and you can execute a drill down on any metric that's collected from the kernel or the registry or hypervisor. And to do this, you actually connect to a capacity agent that is going to supply that real-time data that comes in roughly every 10 seconds. Once you get that data, you have the ability to graph it um, so you can actually visually see what's going on as well as look at historical information. So let's take a look and see here how the output of what a drill down will look like and what a graph can look like after you do a drill down. So let's take a look and see how we can accomplish this in BMC TrueSight Capacity Optimization. Okay, so we've logged into the console and now we're going to go to the investigate component and expand the policies under it. And you should have your policy already defined, but if not, you can just select the policies, right click and say open policy and that'll give you a wizard to find the policy that you want. If you don't have a policy, you can either use the default one or you can create your own. So we have my policy, I have the computer or computers I want in that policy. And to execute a drill down for process level data, all I have to do is select the computer, right click and say drill down. Now you'll notice there are some easy ones that have already been defined. So if you want the top 10 processes, you don't even have to launch the wizard. You can select that or system statistics or CPU utilization. But for our case, we're gonna click on drill down and it's gonna launch our wizard. And we're gonna click on next. And this is where you'll see all the different platforms that we can select from. And you also can see recent drill downs that I've done in the past. I know this is a local Windows box, so I'm gonna choose the Windows metrics. And process data is under common and usage. As I mentioned in the slides, all the metrics that are in the kernel or the registry are actually in here. So you'll see there's a number of different types of metric groups that you can select from. But in our particular case, if we want process statistics, we go Windows, Common, Usage, NT Process Statistics. As soon as I click on Next, it's going to ask me do I want to filter out just for specific process names, or if I want them all, I can just click on Finish, and it automatically is going to connect to my agent and bring back all of the process names that are currently running on that system. If you want to alphabetize them, etc., you can double click on the process name, and you'll see a list of all the um, processes in alphabetic order. So this gives you the ability to look at all the different processes that are running and the different metrics that are associated or collected for each one of those particular metri uh, process names. At this point, you can do a number of things which include um, selecting which ones you're interested in and then the metric that you want to graph, which we'll show in another module, or you can jump in time to a specific time frame, etc. But that's how easy it is to, to create a drill down on process level data in Investigate. And that concludes this module in the BMC TrueSight Capacity Optimization How-To video series. I want to thank you for your time and look forward to you listening to other how-to videos as part of the series in the future. Thanks and have a great day.